Hi, I'm Paul Hetherington, and I'm here at BrickCan 2019 in Richmond, Canada. And uh, this is my latest build. It's called, Imag or it's, <laughs> no, it's not. It's called uh, We Built This City. Um, it's similar to Imagine It, Build It uh, in concept, which is why I messed up there. Um, it, they're both based on Lego bricks and kind of trying to illustrate the creative potential within Lego bricks. So. Yeah. And so you've got so many colors here. I think that's the thing that definitely captures your attention when you first walk up here. So talk us through some of your thinking with that and kind of the ways you incorporated different colors here and how you chose these colors. Right. Uh, really just uh, kind of very instinctive. Um, lots of trial and error. Uh, certain colors, uh, if you notice, there's uh, some more solid color buildings and next to uh, more patterned uh, buildings. And I found that you sort of had to break up it was almost like a secret formula that you had to follow, and your eye would let you know when you know when something wasn't quite right. If I had too many solid buildings next to each other, uh, it was just a matter of, yeah, really putting in the time to try different colors until t until it uh, ended up looking right. Yeah, were these all colors you had in your collection when you started, or were there some colors you maybe saw online and ordered special just for this? Uh, no, I I have been kind of hoarding like oddball colors, um, and I really enjoy using them. Uh, so I had them, yes, and uh, you know some of the colors you only have two or three bricks in in like uh, the teals and the uh, the, the purples, some of those. Uh, so you you know you, you have to strategically plan your buildings where you don't you know some colors I don't have one by one bricks, so it makes it really hard to do corners. Uh, what I would point out with this build is that uh, I framed everything in uh, black bricks to kind of give it a, a, like a cartoony illustrated look. Uh, the entire build was inspired by uh, graffiti. You know, I, I was looking at graffiti online. And I was like, man, I bet there's a way to do, you know, a graffiti-inspired Lego piece that has that kind of feel to it or quality to it. Um, so the trick to that was uh, lining all the buildings with one-by-one -one bricks and plates, uh, and it gives it that sort of, you know, interesting look. And then, as well, doing the the colored windows. There's uh, you'll notice there's no glass in the windows. So it gives it that sort of cartoony feel, and uh, like this, obviously the city would never happen in real life. It's it's like an art city, and the the concept behind it is uh, you you see all the the ramps and uh, the conveyor belts that are bringing Lego bricks up to the the giant robot at the top, and uh, all the bricks are originating from the uh, the giant Lego brick factory down at the bottom. Uh, so it's basically showing that you know out out of the brick all this creativity comes and uh, it's called we built this city so it's all these minifigures and robots uh, building this crazy artistic city yeah i love that idea so talk a little bit more about the robot then because uh, he's certainly a very impressive part of the build here as well oh thanks yeah he's well he's uh, sort of based on japanese tin robots from the 50s 60s and, and 70s uh, i had a little bit of fun where in the center portion uh, the chest plate, usually they have like sort of computer looking stuff, but I figured, uh, you know, he's, it's a, a step count of how many steps it's taken to create the city. Because as you know, and the public always want to know like, hey, how many bricks or, you know, how long did it take you to build your creation? And this one, it actually shows you how, you know, 8,131 steps so far. And he's, he's almost done. He's got a little bit to go on the uh, green building. Um, but yeah, and he's, he's run by the uh, Lego construction workers. And they're all helping out there and guiding, guiding them to uh, create the city. Yeah. So if you can talk a little bit maybe about the structure, because you've got all these buildings kind of stacked on top of each other, what are the internals like to kind of keep this all together? Oh, um, there, there isn't actually any internals. It's, it's built kind of in sections. So um, because the buildings kind of jet in and out, uh, that sort of gives it the strength so that the... Uh, the the higher up buildings can rest on the lower ones and there's enough, uh, I don't know, structure uh, to hold it. So there's no okay. pillars or anything in the back. So it did take a bit of engineering to, to create it. And there's a ton, like all the bricks are like sort of smaller bricks. So a lot of one by one plates and uh, one by one bricks. Uh, so yeah, like it'd be great if in all the oddball colors you had like one by 16, you know, beams and stuff. but for the most part, those don't exist, so you, a lot of, uh, certain parts of it are a little bit fragile. 
Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, and then the, the base of this is really fantastic. It's like a great build in and of itself here. So how did you do kind of the outward facing bricks there? Yeah, those, um, uh, I went through a brick link and, uh, you know, figured out how many colors uh, round two by two uh, tiles and round two by two plates were available, you know, in, in similar colors. So um, basically I've got almost every color variation that you can do. Uh, for this show, I, I didn't get a couple of orders on time, so there's, uh, I think you can do dark, dark uh, pink and uh, teal. Uh, the sand blue ones are quite hard to get in uh, both the tiles and the, the round plates. Uh, and then apparently yellow, uh, or, or uh, sorry, not yellow, uh, orange and the lime green are also a little bit hard to get the uh, plates. Um, so yeah. It, I just thought, you know, it's about Lego bricks. This really, this creation really celebrates Lego and the brick. So uh, it was, yeah, just an idea to line it with all, as many different colors as I could in brick. Yeah, it's a fantastic idea. So creative here. So I appreciate you taking us through the whole thing. And I, I love seeing this at the show. So thank you. Hey, thank you very much.